dangers of cholesterol drugs. In my opinion, the most worthless drugs on the market, for statin drugs. Okay? I'm not totally anti-medicine. I'm not totally anti-drug. I don't ever want to appear that way. I believe there's a time and a place for everything. I believe there's life-saving medications. I believe that if you just had a heart attack and you need to be on a blood thinner because it's going to keep you alive because you have another 90% blockage, you should probably be on that. Okay? There's a time and a place for these things. But these are being prescribed at ridiculous levels um, because it's a money maker. And there's no better indicator of that than the fact that they changed the level of dangerous cholesterol just to put people on medications. Okay? Huh? We're talking about putting it in the water because so many kids have high cholesterol. Oh my God, help us. I, heard I saw an article. <laughs> I saw an article. Why don't we just put statin drugs in the water because just like fluoride, which is so good for us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's because all of our kids are getting high cholesterol now, so we should just put statin drugs in the water. They don't even know what statin drugs do to kids. That'll never happen. So, they used to say dangerous cholesterol levels were 200, and then they lowered it to 180 just so they could put more people on. Yeah cholesterol drugs. But, again, cholesterol isn't the enemy. So, what do statin drugs do? It's very simple. <laughs> statin drugs tell the liver to stop producing cholesterol. So, what do you think that does to your body? We already talked about all the functions that cholesterol serve in the body. So, here you're putting a drug in your body that's stopping your body from producing this important life-saving substance. Now, if you're an older person, you will start to feel the effects of that within three months. If you're a younger person, you might not. It might take longer. As these statin drugs stop the production of cholesterol, it, you know, the, the body's going to have a, a reserve supply of that, you know, and it's going to take a while, a longer for you to feel the, the negative effects of that. But an older person will feel it really, really soon. Uh, just the fact that it completely depletes the body of CoQ10, an essential nutrient for the health of your cells and cell communication and energy levels in the body. Um, you'll get muscle cramping and muscle weakness um, from the deficiency in that, in that nutrient caused by the body not producing cholesterol anymore. So, there's all the things that are listed here on the dangers of cholesterol drugs, but we, talk, we talked about the benefits of cholesterol, so you're stopping, you're stopping that function from happening in the body, which is going to cause lots of long-term side effects, short-term and long-term side effects very damaging to the body, and like I said, completely unnecessary. But cholesterol is not the concern. The concern is your blood pressure, your arteries, are they blocked, are they not blocked, what's causing your high blood pressure, that's what you need to be concerned about. And ask your doctor questions. I mean, if, if this really kind of hits home with you, or you have yourself, or you have family members, you know, that are on these medications, I can send you a great article that's 10 questions to ask your doctor about cholesterol and blood pressure medications. And if nothing else, it'll get your doctor to think about these things. Because unfortunately, he probably won't have an answer for most of these things, but at least get him thinking about it. Okay, but we need to ask questions. You know, we just blindly trust the doctors and take whatever they say to take because they say it's good for us. Yeah. And I think those days are disappearing because we're realizing that we're in control of our own health. Not only are we in control of our own health, but we're realizing that there's a lot of damaging effects to a lot of these medications that these doctors are giving us. Unbeknownst to them, I'm not blaming them, but it's just the, the way the system's been created, unfortunately. 